Hey, my name is Victor and I'm here to do a tutorial on how to sculpt a MetaHuman head and bring it back into Unreal Engine. Now, MetaHuman Creator gives you some uh, great tools for creating a MetaHuman head, but you may still want to fine tune it. You might want to put it into ZBrush, for example, and do some more tweaking. So I've, uh, I'm going to share this uh, quick method to be able to do this. It's not perfect. Uh, it will invalidate uh, the groom assets that are already in Unreal Engine 5 have exported the MetaHuman straight into Unreal Engine 5. So you would have to create new groom assets to do this. Uh, and I'm sure there's probably other limitations as well. But for the purposes of this challenge and just doing um, some modifications to the head, it, um, it may work for you if that's what you're trying to do. So let's have a look. So first thing we want to do is we want to export out the, uh, the head mesh, the geometry. Um, so what we need to do is we need to first unbind the skin. So skin, unbind skin, and then edit, delete by type, history, and then file, export selection, and I'm going to name it ada.fbx, and then export it. So then you're going to be able to edit, uh, you're going to be able to add that into your editing software, and then uh, edit it, and then we're going to re-import it. So I'm going to do control Z, control Z, control Z, just so I can reattach the skin, just undo all that unbinding stuff, so the rig is still working. And then what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to save what we've got here. And I'm going to open FBX. This here you may not need to do because you've probably imported it into, say, ZBrush or something. Uh, and it's all the structures changed. But if I re-add this in, if I try and re-import this back into the original rig file, um, because it's in the same hierarchy and same name, it won't actually import properly. So. Uh, just making some quick changes which you shouldn't need to do. Export selection again, just renaming the the uh, name of the geometry, changing the hierarchy. So we're going to go back to the rig. Right, we've got the rig. I'm going to import the mesh that's been edited. So here we got the we've got the geometry. Now obviously it's not edited from my example because I haven't taken it out into any other software, but yours will look different at this point. So I'm just going to do some real quick rough and ready uh, edits so that's very obvious that I have uh, modified the head. So I stretch the face lots. Now we're going to add it to the rig as a blend shape. So select the sculpt geometry. Select. Uh, so we're going to go into the shape editor. If you can't find it. It's under Windows, Animations, uh, Animation Editors, and Shape Editor. Then we're going to select this uh, Blend Shape node up here, this selection up here. Go Create, Add Selection as Target. And that will add a Blend Shape at the bottom called Sculpt Shape. So now you can see when I drag that slider or hide the sculpt, it will apply a Blend Shape. So that's the start. Now we need to export it out. This is where um, it gets a little bit hacky. So what we do is we need to change the hierarchy of the, so there's two hierarchy, there's the head skeletal mesh hierarchy, and then there's a body hierarchy. Now the head hierarchy in Maya doesn't go all the way down to the root joint, in, like it does in Unreal. So when you try and import the skeleton hierarchy for the head and the geometry, uh, Unreal Engine complains. So we need to uh, add the extra joints, add the additional joints that are not in there currently. So the way we do this is we take the body hierarchy, Copy, Control C, Control V to paste it, and now we've got the uh, duplicate of the body hierarchy. And we're going to take the bottom set of nodes and delete everything else. And I'm going to rename these to DHI head just so it's consistent. Great. We're going to take it out of that group, delete that group. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag the head hierarchy with the middle mouse button and drop it on top of Spino 3 and now we've got that um, the correct hierarchy here. Now we need to create a export selection set. We need to select all the joints and the LOD0 geometry to export. Uh, there is definitely an easier way of doing this or faster way of doing this if you were to do it all the time using a script. But for now, given that there's not that many joints in here to select, I'm just going to scroll through, holding control, and click and select all the joints. Now then there's a whole stack here, control click on that one. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of these, 
Control and Shift together on the bottom one to select the whole lot. Now we add it to our export set, Windows, Relationship Editors, Sets. Edit, create a set, and in here, edit, add selected items. I'm going to rename this Head Rig Export Set. Now we've got the joints in there, we need to add the geometry. The geometry is under Rig, Head Group, Geometry Group, Head Lod Zero Group. These are only the meshes we want. We won't worry about the other lods. We're only doing an art project, so we don't need to worry about the other lods. I'm going to add selected items. With those selected, add selected items to the export set, and now we've got that done. So this is now ready to export. Right click on this, select set members, file, export selection. And I've named this ADA head scale mesh FBX file. These are the settings that I use. You can uh, pause the video and have a look at these, uh, but it's pretty close, if not the same as the default settings. I'm going to export selection. Now let's do the Unreal Engine side of it. So what we're going to do is uh, I've got the uh, blank level here. I'm going to uh, drag ADA, which I've exported from Quixel Bridge already. So uh, under Window, you've got the Quixel, Quixel Bridge. It's just uh, dragging at the moment. Give it a minute. Here we go. Drop her in. Uh, window, Quixel Bridge, and from there you can uh, import the MetaHuman straight into Unreal. And that will bring in all these assets. So now I'm going, I've dragged her in, just going to reset her back to the origin. We've got Ada here. Um, she's actually already modified. I'm just going to go through the step again. So I won't, uh, if I zoom out, the lo other LODs don't have the modified mesh. So I'll just zoom out so you can't see the modified mesh. So here we've got uh, Ada's face mesh. So I've selected the actor in the level, gone to the face skeletal comp uh, mesh component found the skeletal mesh for her and in here what we're going to do is we're going to re-import the modified uh, face mesh so to do that we go down to import settings file path and click on the three dots here to select the um, source file now it's still exporting at the moment so let's just give it a minute okay it's exported now and we can import this uh, skeletal mesh so we select that file click open and then up the top here, we've got uh, re-import base mesh. Click re-import base mesh. Okay, now it's imported. So to check that we've got the bling shape in there, uh, on the morph target preview over here, just type in sculpt, or whatever you've called it, and we can see the sculpt shape is here. Drag it up, and we can see that it applies the uh, sculpt. Okay. So uh, what we can do now is uh, save that. And to drive this, uh, what we need to do is we need to go into the animation blueprint for the face. So we go into the face skeletal mesh component and up above the, uh, the where the mesh was, you've got animation, you've got the anim class. Press the little button and it browses us to the animation blueprint. Double click on the animation blueprint to open it. Now I've already done it here, um, so I'll just start it again. In the face animation uh, blueprint, what you'll see is this. Right click and we want initialize animation. So then off here we want to execute set morph target so you're just dragging that pin off right click uh, it was dragging the pin off typing a set morph target and you'll find it the morph target name is sculpt shape and the value we want to drive it to is one compile and then you will see that your morph target is being driven here so now when you go into the viewport you'll see that it's working so we've got the uh, blend shape being applied even when we're not playing which means that uh, if you're doing any posing in the editor without playing or you want to take images and things like that all the morph targets working you will also be able to drive the rig and it will deform this obviously I've gone quite extreme here the hair doesn't line up in some cases the hair actually uh, does an exploding thing where the hair goes all over the place uh, so if you create your own uh, strand based hair and put it in there, it should work. Um, so you can just give it a go, see whether it does what you need. But if you're looking to get more fine grain control over the sculpt of your face, this may be a method that you can use uh, in your workflow. Thanks for your time.